Here this week for the U.S. elections are a number of observers with the International Foundation for Electoral Systems, or IFAS. Among them is Johan Krigler, a noted South African human rights lawyer and a judge who has participated in electoral missions in a number of African countries, Iraq, Pakistan and Afghanistan. He has just completed a six-month stint in Kenya, reviewing its recent violence-torn elections. I sat down with Justice Krigler Monday and asked him what he finds remarkable about the American electoral process. I think the most striking thing for an African about the American election is the degree to which everybody is fully informed of what's happening, the openness, the, the uh, wealth of communication that there is about it, and the, the frankness and the openness of the debate. I think to most of us that's a, a, re a refreshing change. Would you say that the American electoral process is a perfect model for African nations? No, certainly not. The Americans have made their electoral process work through more than 200 years of hard work. It's certainly not an ideal process. I think there are many electoral systems in Africa that theoretically are better, but we haven't learned to make them work as well as the Americans make theirs work. So what is it about the African systems that uh, has not worked for the nations, such that uh, many countries have very uncertain moments just before the elections. What is it that they haven't done to make them work? You know, one, one shouldn't generalize. I think every country in the world is different. Every cult, cult, country has its own history, its own culture, its own context, its own political context, its own ethnic context. But generally, if one can make a broad sweeping statement, I think that uh, Elections in Africa tend to be much more rigid, much more society-driven, much more ethnically, family, color, background-driven. The Americans have got a melting pot that none of us in Africa have yet learned to handle and control as well as they do. So, Justice Krigley, you're saying there is nothing necessarily that African nations, uh, African people need to, uh, to study so closely about the American electoral system. They just have to look inwards and see how to make the systems work. They must look below the surface. They must look at the give and take of the American system where John McCain, when somebody makes a racist remark about Obama, immediately gets up from where he is and goes and takes the microphone away from whoever was speaking and saying, that's not the way I'm running this election. That takes me back, in fact, to Kenya, where you just came from. You returned from that country after spending six months reviewing the course of violence after the so kind of uh, disputed uh, election results. Mm -hmm. What is it that, for example, the Kenyans could have learned from this system uh, to avoid such a scenario in the future? What the Kenyan people and many other societies in our continent can learn from the American system is the, the contest is more important than the competitors in the race. That it's not about McCain or Obama, but it's about America. It's about the wish of the people of America to submerge your own importance in the importance of the process. Every election that you run peacefully strengthens your possibility for the next election. Every election that succeeds in Africa strengthens all of us. But also, every election that fails weakens all of us. A, a, a failed election, like Kenya's was, because it was not accepted by the general body of the electorate, a failed election in Kenya weakens the resolve of Democrats in the East African region and it has its own trickle-down effect all the way down in South Africa where I come from. We all grow together and we all shrink together depending upon how we manage to handle this awkward but essential uh, rite of passage in the electoral process, in the growth of democracy.